This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform someone into Joker from the 2019 movie. Open a well-lit, high-resolution photo of a face that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Name it Hair. Temporarily hide the copy and make the bottom layer active. Click the adjustment layer icon and click black and white. Open the preset list and click maximum white. Invert the layer mask by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Doing this will allow us to reveal back the black and white effect just over the face. Think of layer masks as stencils. Black hides or masks out the image while white reveals the image. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Open a soft round brush. I'll make its size 175 pixels, but feel free to use whatever size you like based on your image's size and resolution. Make its hardness 0% and its opacity and flow 100%. Make sure your foreground and background colors are white and black respectively. Brush over the face to reveal the black and white adjustment layer through the layer mask. To feather out the perimeter more, invert the colors by pressing X on your keyboard and decrease the brush's opacity to 50%. Increase your brush's size by making sure your caps lock key is off and pressing the right bracket key on your keyboard. Brush around the perimeter of the face. Next, we'll darken its midtones. Click the adjustment layer icon and click Levels. We want the Levels adjustment layer to affect only the face and not the rest of the subject. Since adjustment layers affect all the layers below them in the Layers panel, we'll need to clip it or restrict it to the face. To do this, click the Clipping Mask icon or press Alt Ctrl G on Windows or Option Command G on a Mac. You can also go to Layer and create Clipping Mask. For the input midtone levels, I'll type in 0.65. However, feel free to adjust this amount. If some midtones are a bit too dark, you can restore them to their original levels by inverting your colors so black is your foreground color. Brush over the areas you want to lighten. We'll reveal back the eyes to the original photo by making the face layer mask active, adjusting the size of your brush, and brushing inside the eyes. Next, we'll make the hair green. Make the hair layer visible and active. Open your Quick Selection tool and drag it over the hair to select it. Go to Select. If you're using a Photoshop version earlier than CC 2015.5, click Refine Edge. If you're using a later version, click Select and Mask. If you prefer to use Refine Edge instead of Select and Mask, shift click Select and Mask. I did in depth tutorials on both of these filters, so if you'd like to watch them, click their respective cards at the upper right or their links in this video's description. Check Smart Radius. This detects smooth and hard edges. Brush over the overlapping edges between the hair and the face. Output it to a layer mask. Immediately, a layer mask of the selection is created next to the face. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Hue Saturation. Then clip it. This will restrict the color to affect only the hair. Check Colorize and make the hue 100 and the saturation 20. Next, we'll apply the Joker's red face paint. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and again click Hue Saturation. From now on, we won't clip the adjustment layers since each will have its own layer mask that will affect only the areas revealed inside them. Check Colorize and make the saturation 80 and the lightness minus 50. 
We'll invert the layer mask to hide the red color by pressing Ctrl or Command I. We'll be revealing back the color over selected areas of the face by brushing white over our image. Make sure your foreground color is white and open your brush tool and brush picker. I provided a custom brush named Face Paint Brush that you can download. Its link is in my video's description below the video or in my project files. If you're not sure how to install brushes, I did a tutorial showing you how to do it. It's many years old, but it's still relevant. If you want to watch it, click the card at the upper right or the link in my video's description. Once you install the brush into your preset folder within Photoshop, click the gear icon and click Import Brushes. Click Face Paint Brush and click Load. Close any brush folders that are open and open the Face Paint Brush folder. Click Kyle's Real Oils 01 Brush. I'll make its size 60 pixels, however, feel free to adjust the amount based on your document size and resolution. Brush over the nose to reveal the color through the layer mask. If you want to reference the Joker's face from the movie, there are plenty of images from which to choose on the web. If you want to remove areas of the color, press X to invert your colors so black is your foreground color. Brush over the color you want to mask out. Then press X again to invert the colors. Brush over the mouth to reveal the color, and again, whenever you want to hide the color, press X and brush over the color to hide it. Reduce the fill to 87%. Reducing the fill of certain blend modes results differently than if you were to reduce their opacity. In this example, I'd like to make the eyebrows darker. If you want to darken an area of the face paint on your subject, Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the adjustment layer and change the copy's blend mode to linear burn. Reduce its fill to 78%. To reveal back the areas you don't want darker, like the nose and mouth in this example, open the rectangular marquee tool and drag it over those areas. We'll fill the selection with black, which will add black to that area of the layer mask. If your foreground and background colors are white and black respectively, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. If your colors are inverted in which black is your foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Hue Saturation. Change the Blend Mode to Color Burn. Check Colorize. Make the Hue 212, the Saturation 100, and the Lightness minus 55. Invert the layer mask to hide the blue color. Make sure your foreground color is white, and brush over the top of the eyebrows and below the lower eyelid, revealing and masking out the color to finesse their shapes. Make a copy of the adjustment layer, and change the blend mode to linear burn. Reduce the fill to 33%. Lastly, we'll change the colors of the clothes. Click the adjustment layer icon and click Hue Saturation. We'll keep normal for its blend mode. Check Colorize and make the saturation 100 and drag the lightness slider to a point where the density of the shirt looks good to you. We can always adjust it later. Invert the layer mask to hide the color. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Open the brushes folder that contains your normal round brushes. Click a soft round brush and make its opacity 100%. Adjust its size and brush over the outer garment. Click the Adjustment Layer icon again and click Hue Saturation. Check Colorize. Make the Hue 144, the Saturation 100, and the Lightness minus 49. Invert the layer mask to hide the color. Then brush over the inner garment. If you want to adjust the brightness of the clothing some more, 
Drag the lightness to the left or right. Click the adjustment layer for the outer garment to make it active and drag its lightness as well. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.